Today, I am very excited to show you guys my results so far on this new project that I just invested. Currently, I'm making over $5,000 a month and I am projected to make $73,000 passively over the next year. All of this just by simply running nodes on the Ethereum blockchain. When you hear the word node and blockchain, you probably think that you need to be like super tech with a huge warehouse full of GPUs and miners and all sorts of other stuff to be able to do this, but you don't. Strongblock has automated this entire process for us so that we can just create our own node and have it up and running within a few seconds. What Strongblock basically does is they host and maintain the node for you. So you're essentially renting the node out and getting rewarded for it. So before we get ahead of ourselves and start talking about all the Lambos that we're gonna buy, let's break down exactly what this project is and how it works. So there are two core elements to the blockchain, miners and nodes. So the thing is that miners are compensated while those running nodes typically are not. So with no monetary reward, there is a high risk for the public blockchains that they support. To solve this, StrongBlock has created the StrongBlock Community DeFi protocol. They incentivize nodes to perform better by rewarding them with their strong token. So think of it this way, instead of providing liquidity to a liquidity pool and being rewarded for providing that liquidity, we're providing nodes to keep the blockchain safe and being rewarded for doing so. So this is the first ever DeFi system that actually also improves the blockchain itself. So before we go further into StrongBlock, let's talk about what a node is. A node is basically a computer that connects to a cryptocurrency network. Each node or computer supports the network that it's connected to. Nodes store and transmit data that is bundled together in a block, hence the name blockchain. So these nodes store the historical blockchain transactions, and they send and receive this information. Now this is not to be confused with miners who are also known as nodes. However, they're validating and creating new transactions to add into the blockchain. While what we will be doing is basically being rule and record keepers. Nodes are a critical component of the blockchain infrastructure. It helps maintain the security and integrity of the network. So now that we understand exactly what a node is, what is StrongBlock's purpose in all of this? StrongBlock is a first and only blockchain protocol to reward nodes for supporting the infrastructure of their blockchain. With limited resources and no financial incentive, many nodes run out-of-date software, maintain incomplete blockchain histories, and some are even intermittently offline. There was no easy mechanism to fix these issues once the blockchains launched. To solve this, StrongBlock has made it possible for anyone to create a node in seconds and receive strong token rewards every single day. More nodes means more resilience in the infrastructure. All right, so if you're still a little bit confused and haven't yet got it, let's quickly summarize what we've gone over. Nodes are the rule keepers of the blockchain and are very important to the infrastructure and security. The problem is that there's not much financial incentive to run nodes. So most of them are out of date, have incomplete blockchain history, or are just plain offline. So to solve this, StrongBlock is making it extremely easy for anyone to create a node in seconds and get rewarded daily with the strong tokens. All right, so hopefully you caught up and you're with me now. So next, before I ever invest and put my hard earned money into any type of uh, project or investment, I want to see who the team is. I want to know their background. What's their experience? So StrongBlock was founded back in 2018 by members of the original EOS core team. The StrongBlock team is led by blockchain and enterprise software veterans, including CEO David Moss, CTO Brian Abramson and CPO Corey J. Letterer. So they all have a background in blockchain, which I really like. And they're also all located here in the US and they're real people. So that gives this project a lot of credibility in my eyes at least. Now StrongBlock first launched back in September of 2020, but back then you had to provide your own nodes. Then in December of 2020, they launched their nodes as a service project, which is what we are using today. 
Now, the last thing to note about them as far as their tokenomics, they've actually burned 94% of the original 10 million minted strong tokens back in November of 2020. So now there's only around 500,000 of those strong tokens left. So you can see here on coin market cap, it tells you that they burned 94.7%. So their current supply is at 138,000 and their max supply is 528,000. Here's the current price of each strong. Their market cap currently sits around 65 million. So there's definitely some upside potential here. And I believe that we're currently at a pretty good spot for entry. You can see in the last three months, the price went up as high as $1,200. And now we're currently sitting back down at that $400 area. So the main risk here is that it is a little volatile here. As you can see, we've had about a 68% correction from the all time high. But from what I'm seeing right now, we're getting down to that bottom where we have a lot of uh, confluence here of support. So it seems like a pretty good time to dive in. A lot of the down movement had to do with uh, recent rumors about a decaying model for rewards, where basically once you get back your initial investment, then the rewards decay off a little bit, but there's no nothing factual on that yet. So it's still up in the air. All right, so your next question is probably, how do we get rewarded and how much? So we get rewarded about three strong coins per month per node that we create. So at the current prices, that's just about $1,500 per month. Of course, this is not counting the fees and ETH gas fees. The current return rate is about 0.1 strong per 7,000 blocks, which is around 0.091 strong per day per node. I hope that makes sense. If the price and rewards remains exactly the same, it will take around 110 days to earn back your investment. So basically three months and a week or so. So naturally your next question is probably, okay, so how does strong make money? What's the catch? So most of the rewards comes from strong itself. The investment that we make to create a new node is basically how the rewards get paid out. Here's a breakdown of exactly how your contribution of 10 strong to the strong block community is distributed. 10% goes to future use. 10% goes to strong ETH and linked strong pools for rewards. 20% goes into the strong pool and 60% into node rewards pool. All right, so after all of that, if you're still interested in creating a node and making some passive income like I have, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to create a node. So to create a node, the first thing to know is that it requires kind of a hefty buy-in. To get started and create a node, you need 10 strong. So at current prices, that's about $4,750 for one node. Now it is on the Ethereum blockchain, so you have to account for gas fees and you have to pay a monthly maintenance fee to keep your node running, which is $1,495. And that's every single month. Do not forget to pay this because if you do not pay it, you completely lose your node and your investment into it. So if you want to create a node, this is how you do it. First, you have to buy strong. I bought my strong on Qcoin with USDT. Remember, you need to buy 10 strong in order to create a node. Buy a little bit over 10 so that when you transfer it over to your MetaMask, you can cover the fees as well. So the next step is that you have to transfer your strong to your MetaMask wallet. So it's an ERC-20 token. That means that it's on the Ethereum blockchain. So just copy the Ethereum blockchain address and send your strong to that Ethereum address. Now, if you don't have MetaMask, that's something that you need to get and you can add it as an extension on your Chrome browser. That's how I recommend you to get MetaMask. You can also use it as an app on your phone, but I think it's just easiest if you do it through uh, the Chrome extension. That's the way that I do it. Now, once you have your MetaMask set up, next you need to add strong to your MetaMask. The way to do that is go to etherscan.io. Once you're on etherscan, simply type in strong. You'll see it's going to pop up right here. You just click that. What you're looking for here is the contract address, which is this right here. So just hit copy. Now open your MetaMask, scroll down to where it says don't see your tokens and hit import tokens. Click on custom token. 
where it says token contract address, paste the address there. You see for me, it already says that I, that's already been added. You're gonna put your uh, strong symbol here, just write strong. And that's it. The token decimal should automatically fill for you. So now you've bought your strong, you've set up your MetaMask, you've added the strong coin on your MetaMask. Now you have to send your strong from, from the other exchange into MetaMask. Just use the Ethereum address that's there and MetaMask is going to put it in strong. Don't worry. You can use the same address. Also, you need to have some Ethereum in your wallet to cover the gas fees. That's another very important part. So let's say just have at least two to $300 in there for the gas fees. Now go to strongblock.com, then hit create your node now. You see, I already have my nodes here, so mine's pop up. What you're gonna do is hit create node, then just fill out no name and no description. It really doesn't matter what you name it. You can see that I named it Bitcoin Daily Node 1, Node 2, 3, 4, and the description, I just put the date that I created them so that I remember when it was created. After that, just hit that you agree and create Ethereum node. Once you do that, make sure to open up your MetaMask wallet because it's going to be asking for permissions and you have to pay the 14.95 fee. Um, you have to pay gas fees for to create the node. It's gonna be a couple different things that you're gonna have to do that it's gonna ask you to do to create that node. But once it's all complete, it should pop up here under my nodes. Um, it'll take up to 30 minutes sometimes. Just refresh your page until it pops up. And once it pops up, you'll see that it'll instantly start running and uh, you'll instantly start getting rewarded as you can see here. So I've created this little spreadsheet here just to kind of have an idea of what the yearly return could be and what the investment to get those yearly returns would cost. So here's basically how much you could potentially make depending on the value of strong, you know, whether it goes up or down, then these numbers all change. Also, depending how many nodes you buy and depending on what the price of strong is when you first invest into it. You can see here that I bought my first node back on November 23rd. At the time of that, Strong's value was at 575, so it actually cost me $5,750 without counting the fees to buy my first node. Then a week later, I did a lot more research on the project and I was like, it just makes so much sense. And of course, I bought a second one because I wanted to make more money. So the first node put me at around $18,250 uh, passive yearly return. Then the second one put me at around $36,500. But as recent as yesterday, the price of Strong did go down. And because it went down, I decided to buy two more nodes. So I bought the next two nodes at an average price of around $473. So my total investment in Strong Block is now up to $20,810, plus the gas fees I've had to pay. So I'm probably closer to $21,000 overall. Now, so far with the two nodes that I had previously, buying them one week apart from each other, in about three weeks, I made around $1,600 or three and a half strong. But now with the four nodes, I'm expecting to make around $73,000 in the next 12 months. However, if I compound my rewards and then just continue to create new nodes every time I accumulate 10 more, in the next 12 months, I could potentially own 99 nodes now i didn't even do the math for 99 nodes because i never even thought of trying to compound it to that much but according to this calculator here provided from the calculator guy at that point i'd be making around four thousand dollars per day twenty nine thousand per week one hundred and twenty seven thousand per month and 1.5 million per year so it definitely gave me something to think about so my new plan is this i want to get at least eight nodes. So I plan to compound all my rewards until I'm able to create all eight of them. The reason I bought four nodes total is because now with four nodes, I can create one new node every single month. So remember, if each node is giving me about three strong per month and to create a new node, it costs 10 strong with four nodes that puts me at around 12 strong per month. Now, because I've already had a few nodes running for a few weeks now, I'm almost at four strong already. So I only need six more to create my fifth node. So this actually gives me a date for about January 1st. That's right. We're going to start the new year off with a fifth node. 
So if you do the math, so I did the math, and as long as I compound my rewards, every time I get 10 strong, I create a brand new node. By the first, I should have my fifth node. By January 20th, I should have my sixth node. By February 6th, I should have my seventh node. And by February 20th of 2022, I should hit my goal of eight nodes. Now you'll see at eight nodes, the expected yearly return is $146,000. At an average price of $500 per strong, that means that I would be making around $365 per day, $2,500 per week, almost $11,000 per month, and $133,000 per year. So at this point, my goal is going to be to take out my initial investment of $21,000 before I continue to compound my rewards to create more and more nodes. Once I pull out my investment, then I think my goal, thinking just as, as of right now, but this of course can change, will be to reach 60 nodes. Now why 60? Because 60 would get me to about $1 million in 12 months. And that just feels like a great number. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think I covered everything. If you guys do have any other questions, just drop it in the comments. Remember, guys, that this is risky. Um, there is the potential of the volatility of the price of the strong coins. There's a potential that there's that decay reward model that might be coming up. And of course, it's crypto, guys. You know, anything could happen with crypto. So this is going to depend on your risk tolerance. If you want to wait it out and see how it plays out for me, I'll be updating you guys uh, frequently on how I'm doing, how much money I'm making, and every time that I create a new node. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this tutorial helped you guys set up your nodes if that's what you plan on doing. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just my experience, what I plan on doing, what I'm currently doing to try to make some passive income because at the end of the day, if you work for your money, you're going to work for the rest of your life. Make passive income. That'll give you financial freedom. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're new here. Also, turn on that notification and smash that like button on the video. Till next one, guys. Peace and love.